This video is sponsored by Best Buy. Hey guys, come here. Look closely. What color do you see? All right, follow me. What about now? Ah, magic. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and while I'm no magician, I'm a gadget matchmaker, helping you find the right device to match your needs. What you just saw was a color-changing phone from Vivo, a budget offering coming in at just 400 US. The question now is, is there more to this phone than its color-changing magic trick? This is our Vivo V23 unboxing and review. Before we dive into our unboxing, for those who are unfamiliar with Vivo, apart from the more premium X series that we recently reviewed on this channel, Vivo also makes the V series, its mid-range offering, with the selfie camera as its crowning glory. This year, the Vivo V23 5G continues that legacy, with dual front-facing cameras and a pair of color-changing front-facing lights. But more importantly, it's the Vivo phone to get if you're looking to save. Speaking of savings, if you're looking for a smartwatch to pair with your new V23, or any phone for that matter, Best Buy is running a limited promotion on the Fitbit Scent. If you order one today, you get $100 off. More on that later. But first, let's talk about this device. I like how thin and light the Fitbit Sense is and that it looks good. So whether you're working out or dressing up, it's a smartwatch that you will love wearing. If you're looking to start the year right with a focus on your fitness, this device is great for tracking your workouts. More importantly, it's packed with a host of health features, like being able to take an ECG measurement or being able to track things like your stress levels and the quality of your sleep. By the way, when it comes to sleep tracking, Fitbit wearables are the gold standard. The Fitbit Sense comes in three colors, graphite, silver, and gold. Usually it retails for $299, but up until January 15th, you can get it for as low as $199 only at Best Buy. Best Buy offers quick delivery options. I had the option to get it delivered the next day, but I couldn't wait, so decided on an in-store pickup. Order yours today by using the link in the description box below to get $100 off your purchase. I filmed this unboxing last week while in Vegas for CES. It all worked out because the sun was shining into my hotel room and that really brings this navy blue box to life. Look how it glistens in the sun. Let's lift up this lid. Looks like we have the V23 5G in sunshine gold. Let's set it aside for now. Also in the box is a clear jelly case, the soft flexible kind, a user guide, a 44 watt fast charger, a rarity these days. Also in here, USB-C earbuds, a USB-C to USB-A cable, SIM ejector tool, and a USB-C to headphone jack dongle. All right, back to the phone. Let's peel this off. And wow, the Vivo V23 5G has a matte finish, but with glittery sparkles on it. And they explode like shimmer dust when hit by the sun. Vivo calls this fluorite AG technology, and it supposedly makes the phone resistant to fingerprint smudges. But what about that color changing effect we saw at the start of this video? How does that work? Well, when ultraviolet light hits the back of the phone, it triggers a chemical change. 30 seconds is all it takes to go from warm to cool. For fun, we tried cutting out stencils to create temporary patterns on the back of the phone. And here is what we were able to create. If you do go out and buy a V23, try it for yourself and tweet me some of your creations. By the way, this special color changing effect only applies to the Sunshine Gold model. The phone is also available in Stardust Black, which also has a matte plus glittery combo. And depending on the light, we'll have some bluish hints to it. 
The V23 5G is powered by MediaTek's Dimensity 920 chip with dual 5G standby, meaning both SIM card slots will support 5G connectivity. There's also extended RAM 2.0 and Ultra Game Mode for those who are looking for a phone that can handle mobile games. Whenever you start a game, Ultra Game Mode will automatically kick in, and if you swipe in from the left, you can switch from Balance Mode to Performance Mode, which boosts power and performance, but also drains the battery faster. For everyday tasks, the V23 performs just fine. It isn't as powerful as a high-end smartphone, but it gets the job done fine. Its 90Hz display also makes everything feel snappy. From a performance standpoint, there's not much to complain about. The display is vibrant enough to enjoy watching movies. The speakers, albeit only mono downfiring ones, are loud enough. And its under-display fingerprint scanner is fast and responsive. The V23 has three cameras, an 8-megapixel ultra-wide camera with a 120-degree field of view, a 64-megapixel wide camera with an f1.89 aperture, and a 2-megapixel macro camera. Here are some photos I took at CES in Las Vegas. And a few more from back home in New York. Overall, these photos looked great, but I'm not surprised considering how good of a camera smartphone the more premium Vivo X series is. Of course, this wouldn't be a V series phone without an excellent selfie camera. Or should I say cameras? If you notice up front, the V23 has a small notch that houses two, a 50 megapixel wide angle lens, and an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. I like that I get two, so whether I'm shooting a photo for, say, Instagram stories, or a video where I want to show my surroundings, this phone, the V23 5G, has got me covered. Here are some selfie samples. Of course, the ultra wide angle lens is great for group selfies too, but with Omicron going around, I haven't had the chance to actually hang out with groups of people, so those samples will have to wait. I also like that it comes with a built in dual spotlight LED for low light selfies. From the camera app, you can also adjust the temperature of the light from something cool or something more warm. Here's a sample first without dual spotlight LED, and now with cool default, and warm. It's got new software features too, like these makeup presets. Double exposure lets you select a style effect as your first exposure, and an overlay to create a photo like this. There are different styles to choose from, like rainbow. There's also party, which captures the selfie first. Then you'll be prompted to shake the phone to create long exposure light trails. One more thing of note, the Vivo V23 5G can also shoot 4K selfie video. And if you're wondering what that looks like, well, you're watching a sample right now. The V23 5G packs a 4,200 milliamp hour battery that lasted me a full day of average use. It also ships with a 44 watt flash charge adapter and charge times were zippy. 26% in 10 minutes, 65% in 30, and a full charge in 50. Very impressive. It, however, does not support wireless charging. So, is the Vivo V23 5G your gadget batch? Well, I guess first that depends on what's available where you live. Currently, the phone is only available in India, or should I say it will be starting January 19th. It will retail for 29,900 rupees for the 8 gigabyte plus 128 gigabyte model and 34,990 rupees for the 12 gigabyte plus 256 gigabyte model. Vivo says it will definitely be coming to other markets soon and how I wish that includes the US. We do need competition in that space here. Speaking of competitors, this phone probably goes head to head with the OnePlus Nord 2 or the Google Pixel 5a. 
what I like most about it and what I think is its leg up versus its competition is its premium and classy design. I particularly like its return to flat edges. And that was our Vivo V23 5G unboxing and review. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, you know the drill folks, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff and as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by. Thank you.